Hello, my name is Jan and I have a question for you. Would you like to have a superpower to take all the different aspects of your organization and activities and uh, put them on one page very, very clearly and in a structured and attractive way? If so, here is a solution for you. And it's called uh, Organizational Model uh, Canvas and it uh, helps you to do exactly that, to map all your activities and all your resources and to present and analyze it very, very clearly. And the template for the tool is also a part uh, of a toolbox which helps you to plan, implement and communicate the positive impact of your work. Ah, by the way, you may have heard about the business model canvas developed by Alexander Osterwalder. Is it the same? Well, yes and no. Uh, the business model uh, canvas is a great tool for analyzing for profit uh, companies and their business models to improve them, to earn more money or to invent new ones, develop them further. And uh, here we are talking about uh, social impact. So we have taken the original business model uh, canvas and we have kept all the necessary thoughts about money and resources because you will need these to uh, achieve your impact goals, of course. And then we have uh, added some uh, questions which help you to analyze and present all the activities that you do, not for just earning money, but for creating impact as well. So that's the difference with the business model canvas. So how should you work with the organizational model canvas? Well, let's start by noticing that some of the cells are divided into two. If a part of a cell has been marked by a sign showing a heart, please write their relevant information about your beneficiaries. Your beneficiaries are the people who benefit from what you do. For example, the people who participate in the programs that you organize or your organization's members. If a part of a cell is marked by a sign showing tools, please write their relevant information about your resource providers. Your resource providers are the people who give you money, time or material goods so that you can run your activities for your beneficiaries. For example, funders, sponsors or volunteers who help you with implementing your activities. Okay, now let's get to it. First, uh, fill in the stakeholders uh, cell and answer the following questions. Whose needs do you solve? Who are the beneficiaries of your activities? Who provides you resources to implement your solution? Then, the needs and problems. From the perspective of the beneficiaries, what kind of needs does your solution help to solve? And why are they willing to participate? And from the perspective of resource providers, what kind of needs does your solution help to solve for them and why are they willing to contribute? Then the solution. First, describe the solution uh, from the beneficiary's point of view. Which main elements and activities does it involve? And then the same for the resource providers. How you involve them, how you interact with them. Then the boss to target groups. Which channels do you use to reach the beneficiaries? And the resource providers. And then the indicators of success. Which uh, indicators do you have to follow to understand that your solution has the desired positive impact on the beneficiaries? And uh, which ones do you have to follow to understand that your relationships with the resource providers are indeed successful? Then the partners and resources. Which uh, partnerships and resources like finances and know-how do you need to have to offer your solution to the beneficiaries? And then the costs. What are the finances to sustain the annual implementation of the solution? And then the sources of income. How much money do you need to cover the costs concerning offering the solution to the beneficiaries? After filling in the template, analyze the situation if your organization already exists or start testing your assumptions whether the reality would really look like this if you are in the process of establishing a new initiative. As a result of uh, filling in the template, you have gathered everything important about your organization on one page. 
And now the top three tips and tricks. Tip number one, when filling in the template, you can use the information from all the other templates in this toolbox. Tip number two, make it as attractive as you can. The current design is just a starting point to create the magnificent one pager of your organization. And tip number three, use it to analyze your current situation or as a vision board for the future. The template works both ways. So if you would like to create a brief yet visual and attractive and detailed overview of your activities, impact and resources, then download the organizational model canvas template from the impact management toolbox. And I wish you valuable discoveries when working with the tool and uh, achieving even a greater positive impact.